got off the 650R, I was like, shall I just buy this now? The Speed Triple R was perfect if I had to. What are we doing? Going to find our dream motorbike. Yeah. Picking I'm up the motorbike. I'm going to find a red and black one because it's beautiful. Celebrity. <laughs> you are. Yes, I'll take this one. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so. A bit righteous. Very good. Enjoying a chocolate, hot chocolate. What else are we enjoying? Well, this is our first little jaunt on, well, with me on my new motorbike. Yeah. In the glorious winter weather. So, we had so many people watching the other video and a lot of the comments were what have you done or why have you chosen this bike? What have I done? Well, as in, like, everybody was expecting you to get the Triumph. Me too. Uh, and yeah. So you didn't go for the Triumph, you went for the CB650R, yeah. um, which is just there in the background. And um, it's a pretty bike, I like it a lot. But like why, why did you choose it then? Well, I loved the Speed Triple, loved it, loved, loved. And tried a whole range. The Trident was not enough. I felt like I'd get bored of that really quickly. So that was struck off the list really quick. Then I went on the Speed Triple RS. That was fun. I loved it so much. But I also felt like I would become a hooligan in seconds. And with my very, very limited experience, that was a bad combo. Mm -hmm. Also, the seating position was just a bit too forward for me. Yeah. I, so then the next thing we did we go for the, the street triple r which was like that middle ground probably perfect and honestly i thought that was what i was going to go what i loved about the triumph was the slim body it felt super comfortable my legs just fit in the the groove of the tank perfectly yeah i loved riding it too like i still do one day i'm likely to want to buy it we went to honda i tried the hornet which was fun but it was a bit, I just, just didn't enjoy riding it as much as I got on the, the CB650. And I just felt it was super smooth. I enjoyed riding it. It is wider. But also when I compared them back to back, I felt like the 650R was the right level for me at this point in my, with my riding experience, which is very, very, very limited. So the Speed Triple R, was perfect if I had more riding experience. You tried three different engine setup, right? You tried the twin with the Hornet. Yeah. Um, you tried the triples with the all the Triumphs, and then that was the only four cylinders you tried. I guess it's mellower at the bottom of the range, but then it still goes still, if, you need, yeah. if you need it to go. And if anything, I found that even the RS, when I tried it, I really needed to have it in sports mode for it to start to feel like it was a bike that could go fast. It's interesting because that's the one I throw at you as a wild card yeah, and I didn't expect you to like it, uh, but in the end that's the one you're, kinda, you're stuck with. Well the other thing is, is I was thinking about what we want to do yes, with that the too. bikes and what we want to do is go sort of on long rides, touring style. And I want to commute to work as well. Yeah. I don't need to go on a track. I don't imagine myself going on any tracks anytime soon. Seems like the all-rounder, the right level for me. Yeah. It was comfortable to ride. And it's a bit like, you know, if I compare, like, back-to-back, -back, Speed Triple, 650R, it's like once you've chosen your shade of white paint, you don't look at them together on the wall anymore. No. So I'm just going to enjoy riding this. And what I loved about this when we went on the longest test run the, the second time in Farnham was just the way it goes around the corners and it's so smooth and it didn't scare me at all. And 
in the last video I said, and I'm not sure it's really clear because it kind of like you needed the context of, of my statement, but when I got off the 650R at Honda Chiswick, that the first day we tried it, which was only a really short test drive because it was so damn cold, I wanted, I was like, shall I just buy this now? But when I tried this Street Triple, I didn't get off it thinking, fuck it, yeah. I'll just buy it now. Yeah. On the twisties, that bike loves it. I felt, I just, it just felt good. And then there's the elephant in the room, right? Which is, the Triumph was nearly three grand oh, that over is in a, price. Oh, that's another point. And it's not, it's, I don't think it's an elephant. I think it was another big factor was the price point. The Triumph was more expensive by a decent chunk. And, you know, I haven't spent money on myself for a very long time. This was a huge outlay for me. And I wanted to get, like, some other gear as well, make some changes. Like, I needed some money left in the bank and not, like... So that just made the decision a bit easier. I was not Yeah, had they been the same price, the you would kind of, yeah. Insurance is cheaper yeah. on the Honda, too. So there were lots of factors. The only negative point really about the 650R was that it hasn't got that lovely slimline body that when I sit on it, that just suits my yeah. body shape. But the way I look at that is, the more I ride it, the more I get used to it. I won't even notice that. Like I already, I don't think about it when I'm on it. I just enjoy the ride, so. Yes, and I think like maybe some of the remarks from the people watching was like everybody's talking about the Street Triple R, the new version, the, the RS, and every re reviewer right now is reviewing those and loving them and everything else. I think like when we research the CB650R, all the videos are two, three years old, but the comments were similar in a way in that the Honda back then was an amazing bike and everybody loved it and it was like the bike to have a little bit like three four years ago so maybe the comments are like oh why are you buying like, the older cool thing and not buying the new the newer cool thing but you know in a way it's still cool and i think that's that's what matters at the end is like you well, know he still looks i think he looks very good it doesn't look the same as the the triumph but i think he's still yeah, a good looking I, to me it's not the same it's, it's also not the same thing no yeah. i just wanted the bike that felt good felt right that's affordable to me it's the right level for me and um, is like a good all-rounder for what we think we want to do this year and I also didn't want to prolong the decision-making yeah, there was that as well, any yeah. longer because I want to be on it and practicing and being ready to go on the rally in June, June yeah. and that's actually not that much time so it's like four months away now yeah so quite a bit of practice so so there we go. Why didn't you go for the 24 version of it then? Oh, wow. Well, well, that's easy. That's because I didn't think it looked as cool. <laughs> Saying about coolness. For me, it just seems like everything is rounded. The edges are all rounded. To a point where I don't think it's in line with the bike and the shape of the yeah, bike. Yeah, I see what you mean. To me, it's aesthetic. It was uh, not as aesthetically It lost its cohesiveness a little bit with those upgrades, yeah. yeah. Um, and seeing the blue the 2023 blue jeans color as well. I don't have that in the 2024 color range. No, I don't. But anyway, even without the color option, I just don't like the rounded features. I think it looks better in the 2023. And my plan is to change the seat. Yeah, so what are you going to do to it? Do the tail tidy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the only two things at the moment. Being well, now I'm having fun looking at what other people do and seeing what I might put on my list. But for me, it's the seat is priority. One. Well, obviously one will be the tail tidy, but everyone yeah. knows that before they purchase, I think, with that bike. And I do want to change the seat colour because I think it will look nicer with the blue. All right, well, there you go. Now you know, guys. So now, now you know. know. Uh, let us see if we can punch in to that bike. The. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, thank you. Oh. We're still rolling. I didn't still rolling. Know I there you go. And then if you're in they Surrey, over there. in Box Hill, and you want a good coffee, you go to Rikers.